Hey Fruit Faces, it is Clary Berry here. I've had such a busy day and I like am dirty and I have had no sleep last night, but I'm just having to get on here and kind of let some stuff go because I've got a lot of emotion. Um, my sister just had a baby last night. The baby was is great, um, but for that first minute, it was really, really scary. She's one of the 10% where the baby wasn't breathing for like a whole minute, basically didn't cry for that whole first minute. And it was just kind of insane, but everything's okay with that. And I am just have been noticing all of this um, drama regarding Facebook and this domestic violence issue. Um, there was a girl, Ellie Sutton, I believe, who posted, who I'm friends with, who posted pictures of her friend um, really beat up, really bad. And um, I kind of followed it in my spare time throughout the week. And I just had a few things to say because I am an ab abuse domestic abuse survivor. Um, I was abused for quite some time, actually. It, it was um, of a period of like one or two years. Um, it took me that long to get away. So being a domestic abuse survivor, I feel like I have, you know, something to say. And I want to say, I want to get off my chest here. And, you know, granted, I'm not condoning like Durian Ryder's like verbiage or everything that he's saying. But for all the people who are just sitting there saying, oh, fuck Dorian Ryder, I never even liked him anyway, this is the last straw, I'm not going to, you know, watch him or, you know, whatever, do, you know, do whatever you want, but it's silly. And I honestly, as an abuse survivor, I honestly wish that more people in my life, one, I wish that I had one person in my life that would have been as strong, honest, and open, and unafraid and did I say open and tough love as Durian fucking writer? Okay. One fucking person would have changed my life. I was, you know, in and out of the relationship. I even had kids already and it was bad. I mean, and people were moving me back and forth. Um, I think if they would have paid a little bit more attention, honestly, looked for the signs, you know, really talked to me, then they would have found out. Um, I was a stupid bitch and I didn't call the cops on him that one fucking time. I got my ass beat. Probably not quite as bad as this girl, but way worse than I, you know, anybody should ever have to deal with. And I just want to say, like I said, people in my life were totally turning away. They were enablers. Um, the very few who spoke up didn't really say enough, I think, to kind of help me snap out of it. And my life and my kid's life would have been totally different if one person would have taken a stand and really hurt my feelings, made me feel like shit and say, you know what? You are a fucking stupid bitch if you stay. Because that's what he was saying. He's not calling her a stupid bitch for getting hurt. He's saying she's a stupid bitch for staying because that's what was his information. And like I said, I would have loved to have somebody. And I truly think that not only should more people be like Doreen Ryder, they should also be like Ellie and really, you know, put her friend in a position to not be able to hide this type of shit anymore. You know what I mean? I mean, it's so common for, you know, abuse survivors to, you know, be enabled and to be, you know, just basically allowed to get in that Stockholm syndrome and sometimes they need help they need a push they need somebody to say look you're a fucking stupid bitch if you say and that's exactly what Durian Ryder is doing it is he doing it for malice no is he doing it because he has something to say obviously and like I said more people need to take a stand when they see something going wrong whether it's his friends her friends the family people need to step in people need to shout you know say hey I'm not going to let you go back to this guy. Like, we're going to make this, I mean, just the fact that they made it public and are helping, you know, get the authorities involved, that's excellent because I could have used that too. But don't just get mad at him just because he's, you know, used the word fucking bitch. I mean, nowhere did he say, oh, you got hit. You're a stupid bitch. He's saying you're a dumb bitch because he said, and granny, I don't know that that's true. People are saying, oh, we need more information. We need more information. Well, I'm not friends with her, so I can't give you, you know, that information. And even if you're saying, hey, you're a stupid bitch for doing that, that doesn't mean you deserve it. People are taking this big leap and saying, oh, Dorian Reiner, he's a, uh, he's blaming the victim. No, that's bullshit. That's total bullshit. He's helping the fucking victim right now. He's not, he didn't say it's your fault. He didn't say you deserved it. He's basically saying you're dumb if you go back. 
you're dumb because I have knowledge or, he, you know, think that you are going back. And like I said, I really could have used that in my life. It would have taken away a lot of um, pain, a lot of time, a lot of trouble. You know, you can't even weigh these things out when it's your own life. So that's all I really wanted to say. Just my two cents. So let me know what you guys think. Um, my prayers and heart is with everybody involved, especially the young girl who, um, you know, was the victim. And I really hope that she takes Duran writers, you know, words to heart and make sure that she doesn't act like that and that she doesn't let that happen because that's exactly what 